a big Oscars win tonight for LAUSD. Yeah, the last repair shop won the award for documentary short. It's about a unique service at the school district that provides a free instrument repair service. And KCAL Entertainment reporter Suzanne Marquez was there as the nominees got red carpet ready. And while many stars may be dripping in diamonds, nobody is riding in style like them. This is the most special vehicle I have ever driven in in my life. We're going to be so proud rolling down the 101 South to, to, uh, to the Academy Awards. I mean, I'm going to the Oscars. At first I was nervous, but now <laughs> looking in the mirror, I do not recognize myself. How do you sum up this experience of this year? A lot of love. There's a lot of love emanating from that house. All the people who have worked so hard for so many years repairing these instruments, you know, in silence. Um, and now they're being finally recognized and thanked and celebrated, and we're so proud to be a part of that. Directing duo Ben Proudfoot and Chris Bowers invited their cast to get ready at Ben's house before walking the red carpet at the Oscars. At Folks that had been connected but never met until recently. Before, kids thought it's just some kind of magic. The broken instrument leaves, and, and uh, a week later it comes back well repaired. It's like uh, there's a North Pole that fixes all this. When the instrument breaks, there's a student without an instrument. No, 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 not in our city. We know it could change their whole life. The documentary, The Last Repair Shop, goes inside this musical Santa's workshop, a warehouse in downtown LA, where a small group of craftspeople keep more than 80,000 student instruments in good repair. LAUSD is one of the largest and one of the last American cities to provide free working musical instruments to its public school children, a service offered since 1959. In a way, you're fixing an instrument for the future Grammy winner if you want to kind of dream a little bit, you know. <laughs> we were really just blown away by the fact that each of them does this uh, for such noble reasons. For each of them to be working for decades with that type of mentality and that type of love uh, was something that we felt immediately going in there and, and really wanted to make sure that was felt in the film. I started studying the saxophone when I was 10 years old, a fifth grader. Colburn Music School gave me the opportunity to learn for free. They gave me a scholarship and thanks to them I learned and see the impact that these workers have done to them. 